Inauguration Day, we've made it this far, 1-2021. I'm Mark Peterson, and uh, more fog out there this morning. Uh, again, low cloud deck, we're sitting at 27 degrees. We're going to see maybe a sunbreak or two later on this afternoon. Could be nice for a while, but uh, we're going to see more clouds moving into the area, and that's something we need to be uh, aware of. Now, we take a look at the four things you need to know as we start off on this Wednesday. Patchy freezing fog again out there. Sun and clouds later on, a colder weekend with temperatures only reaching freezing during the day. And we have the potential for seeing some light snow showers on Sunday. No major events at all. So that's what we're expecting. Current visibility, better than yesterday. Still some patchy freezing fog. And it doesn't take a lot to put a glaze on sidewalks, parking lots where you walk and drive. So again, just allow for a little extra time and be cautious today. They've treated the roads within the city, but untreated roads could definitely have some issues. Now, we look at the satellite and radar, and again, we're seeing that load drop to the south of us. Uh, we do have, again, sort of a break in the action over the top of us. <clears throat> we are going to see that potential for having an okay afternoon. Uh, cloud cover is moving out into the south through the Palouse. So uh, yeah, we could see some sunshine. We've got to get the low clouds out of there first. Uh, we take a gander at our high stay into the mid-30s solid, 36 for Spokane, 37, Coeur d'Alene, 35 into Deer Park. Temperatures in the mid-40s for Lewiston, one of the warmer temperatures they've had, but they could see some snow tomorrow. Um, temperatures in the mid-30s, that is going to be for today and tomorrow. Friday, it's going to be 35, cloudy. And then look for sunshine, a few clouds on Saturday, and a high of just 32 degrees after an overnight low of 18. So get ready for a cold snap this weekend. We've been above average for a couple of months on average. Uh, we are going to see things get colder. I'm Mark Peterson. Thank you. Of course, uh, 4 News Now news app with push alerts. Let you know what's happening uh, as we go through the day, of course, Inauguration Day. Um, ABC will have programming uh, beginning at 6 a.m. and taking you through uh, much of the morning as uh, we watch uh, as the transition of power takes place in D.C. Also, uh, the First Alert weather app is out there. It's free and it has radar, so when we finally do see some snow, you'll see where it is and how long it'll last. I'm Mark Peterson. Have a great day.